Hey guys, welcome back to the all new Music in Motion. Uh, this is Scott and I'm coming at you live from our 1979 Chevy C10. Uh, in this video here, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna move through the subwoofer enclosure and our amp rack uh, behind the seats in this truck. So what we have right now, and if you watched in the last video, we got all of our cables run, got all of our doors prepped and everything, but now we're gonna get the enclosure addressed. Uh, we are still kind of working around electricians here at the shop. So our time in the wood shop, this was just the most appropriate place to start. But uh, basically what we're doing is we're going to come all the way across the back here. Uh, so from back in the corner all the way across, uh, we have a single JL Audio TW5 13 and a half going in here. And then we have two amplifiers from JL Audio. We have that RD1000 that's going to run it. And then we have a VXI 808. So the plan is to go ahead and get started, get the enclosure mocked up. Uh, we're going to prep the amp rack, but uh, it's time to go down to Boomtown. So let's go ahead and get started and get building this enclosure. All right, guys, so we got set up in the fab shop here. We're going to go ahead and start building this enclosure like we talked about in the intro there. Uh, the wedge is not the most awesome for us on the enclosure, but we're going to work with it. And I think we can still do something really cool. So let's go ahead, uh, mind our space right now. Again, we are in the process of our build out. You know, we spared no expense at building a world class, one of a kind installation facility for everyone out there. So um, we're going to be proud to show it to you when it's all done, but just in progress. So we've got Brand new laser here from Trotec. We've got a brand new full-size CNC machine coming from Cam Master. Again, so we've spared no expense building a world-class experience here for you guys. We're just, we're excited to share it with you, but this is just some of the in-progress. So bear with us through this and uh, above all that, let's go ahead and get running on this C10. So it's enclosure time.
Let's catch you guys up a little bit after that time lapse. I know we didn't catch everything on there, but show you where we're at here. So we got our enclosure put back in here. This is the general idea. So we did get our mounting bolts cut through here. I know we didn't get that in the time lapse and we did mount these two pieces together here. But basically what we have is we have a one inch baffle for the front of the subwoofer enclosure there just to give us the depth for the woofer. Again, the hardest part about this enclosure, it looks very simplistic, but it's uh, it's the angles in which we're working, man. I mean, the angles, I mean, you see they're just super, super shallow at the top there. I think our total width is only about an inch and a half or two inches. So um, other than that, making it a little difficult, I mean, we got a general idea here. So we are going to split the amplifiers up. We had an assumption we were going to have to do that, but um, we're going to put our DSP amplifier back here. It's going to go behind a cover. We're actually going to do a little trim around the amplifier that's got some of the little like billet style louvers in it so just to keep some of that theme together um, we did punch a hole in the side here so all of our cabling that we had prepped out in the beginning is going to run right in there so we'll get that all situated um, once we get this we're going to take this back out we're going to seal it all up we have to run some just some caulk in the enclosure some things that like that but um basically the plan is is once we get that out of here get it all caulked up get the baffle mounted and stuff uh, we're going to get it mocked back up in here and then I guess the next spot we're going to attack is going to be, let's see if I can show you guys here. So over in here, so we do have to trim out those locations. The enclosure is going to come around. So I think what we're going to do is just come out. It looks like we have a good lip right here that we should be able to kind of come back and over just to trim that out there. Um, but then we're going to get that back in here and we're going to go ahead and start working on the center console. So we're going to get the seats put back in. Center console, these are kind of our seat bolts here, or our seat belt bolts. I'm sorry, this is where they mount. So right between this, um, we do have some rails in the floor here, just some added support that they put in here. So we're gonna do our fuse distribution down here. Uh, we're gonna get the subwoofer amplifier down in here. And uh, yeah, should make it really cool. So let's go ahead and get working on that stuff. We're gonna go back into a time-lapse mode here, or as I call it, super fast YouTube mode. It's my jam. So. Uh, Makes me look like a superhero to my kids on YouTube. So, but let's go ahead and get jamming and uh, keep running on our C10 here. Okay, so it's almost like storybook theater time, right? It's recap theater time. So I'll show you guys what we got going on here. So in the last, actually, let me get these out of the way. But sorry, bear with me here. Okay, so oh, we're cheating that guy here. Let me explain this guy in a minute. So, all right, here's what we got. So we did get the enclosure put back in. Uh, we stepped away from the enclosure to get the center console built and the reason being and there's videos on the center console too, but um, basically what we got is let's see if we get this out of the way We got a little further than we should have here, but um, okay So again, so enclosures in where we last left you guys we did get the woofer loaded amplifiers are cabled 
did all that off camera. So center console got installed before we could go any further with the enclosure because we need to do some trim work here. Um, we want to see where the, the console and the box meet up. So we're gonna do some trim work on this and we're gonna build some panels across this. So we'll probably do some branding in the back here, a little piece to trim out some seams and we'll show you. We've got somewhat of a game plan for that. But so with where we're gonna pick up now, we did build our grill for the amplifier here. That was this little cheater I was showing you guys. So on the laser, this one's just cut out of cardboard because we just wanted to template it before we go spending all that time on the acrylic. But so basically we've got a grill that sits in here to cover the amplifier. Uh, we did that out of acrylic. It's actually sitting in the upholstery room, just painted right now. Uh, we took a lot of these lines, just again, that's kind of been our theme for the build here. So everything in this truck has got these lines that run through it. We ran them through in the console here. So a whole bunch of goodies. So we've got the grill cut here. We've got the woofer installed there. At this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build some beauty panels that come across and trim the locations out. Give us some windows around these goodies. Uh, we're gonna trim out the subwoofer over there. And then right back there in those little triangles, we have to finish doing some trim work. So I guess right now, to sum it up, we are doing some trim. So I'll take you into the upholstery room. Let me show you the grill we did real quick and then we're going into super fast YouTube mode. But so we got this guy painted last night. This is that grill. So this is actually cut out of the acrylic, which came out really, really nice. So super cool, but having a lot of fun with that laser. <laughs> so. So let's go ahead, we're gonna get into super fast YouTube mode. Uh, got a lot of work to do today. So we're gonna get the trim work done on the enclosure here. And we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get this thing wrapped up, man. I'm, I'm dying to hear it. We got the amplifiers wired up and playing now and all I got is mid bases and a woofer. I'm like, it's not fun to listen to. So we gotta get this trim work done and then we're into some pillars and sonic bliss. So then we get to listen to this thing and do a tune. So uh, you guys, let's get riding.
I told you I wasn't lying that time. <laughs> so let's show you what we got. Um, so this is kind of the end result here. Well, not end result, but of what we just did. So we basically did each side. We have a cutout around the grill. Uh, we did a little step on the left side or outsides, if you would. So what we did just to, we had two dissimilar shapes, right? So we have the woofer on the right side, which is round, and we have a square body where everything is square. So what we did to try to pull that together is we did the square cutout around the amplifier, obviously. I'll kind of show you what we did over here, just to kind of better explain that and kind of how our head ticks. Um, so let's see, sorry. So that shape that goes around the woofer there is the exact same window that we have going around the amplifier. So the hopes are your eyes will kind of draw more towards the symmetrical shapes than they will where the woofer comes outside of that symmetrical shape. Um, to be honest, when the seats are in here, there's very, very minimal room anyway. So it's very seldom you're even going to see what's back here. Uh, but it's our OCD, right? So. So we got these cut now, you saw the process. I mean, we started with some wood templates. Uh, we did some cutouts on the laser just to template the amplifier opening. I just made it a lot easier doing that step down. And then uh, again, repeatable. So, but then we just went ahead, wood templates, transferred it onto PVC. Uh, the PVC here on the woofer side, we mounted our trim, did our woofer cutout so everything was the same there. And then on the back, well, you can't really see it, but let's see. There's about a 3 8 rabbit on the back of this panel uh, just to get the woofer nice and flush. We flushed the hardware in and only came around the woofer itself. So it's kind of how we put that together. So at this point, the next pieces we're gonna work here are going to be probably on top of the enclosure there. We're gonna start working out a trim for the top section there. And then where the seam comes together in the middle, kind of right there, uh, we're gonna have another piece that steps down right there. And that was kind of the badging we were talking about. Uh, we might do something Chevrolet or Music in Motion. We'll, we'll kind of talk to Elite Resto Mods and see what they want to do with that. But um, outside of that, man, we're gonna go ahead and keep jamming. So pretty happy with those pieces. Now we just gotta keep going because they're not done. So uh, let's go ahead and get back at it. Uh, we'll start that top trim and maybe that center section there. So we'll go back into a super fast YouTube mode here but uh yeah see how far we can get with these today so let's go guys Let's see what we got we're gonna go over to this other side real quick um probably a little easier to understand so we got our top piece put in uh this is the piece i didn't get a lot of a lot of super fast youtube mode on this but basically got our side comes all the way across seams in the middle which doesn't really matter because it'll all get hidden and then we come across that other side so this is basically where we wanted to get so windows all good for this here um, so this we're just gonna wrap in should look really sharp uh, the top edge here we did just get all that glued uh, these are gonna come out they'll still come out as two pieces um, we're gonna flush trim that again just to make sure it's nice and smooth because we did cut it a little big just to go back and flush trim it um, but once that is flush trim we'll probably do a profile on here I'm not exactly sure what profile we're gonna do but um, maybe just probably a round over I mean that's pretty similar to everything else that we did in here um that side just the same we'll get those trimmed the next part for us here is going to be the center section here which we're probably gonna i don't know exactly what we're gonna do yet but we're probably gonna bring something down along the lines here um something there and it'll come up on top just with a little bit of shape so something along those lines, it'll flush out to our console here. Um, it'll hide our seam in the center and it'll just it'll kind of trim out a little gap here. It just look really sharp. So basically what we want to do is we'll probably put the seats in here 
and get an idea where the profile of our seat is because we're pretty tight to our console with our seat. Um, so wherever the seat lies, we'll probably just take a shape from the seat, whatever we have available there, and that's what we'll use to kind of hide that seam. So outside of that, I, I would say we're moving right along. So we're gonna get that last little piece built after we profile those two that we just finished up. And uh, once those are profiled and we get that centerpiece built, I mean, call me crazy, but I think we're ready to wrap this guy. Yeah, I'd say we're good. So, um, yeah, we'll just clean up edges. We'll go over and make sure everything's how we want it to be. Uh, once everything is appropriate, then we'll go ahead and get these wrapped. So, wrap up the back tomorrow. What am I talking about? I don't even know what day we're talking about here. But, um, so, we'll get those pieces wrapped and... Yeah, then we'll have seats in, then we'll, then we'll be jamming. So we can get back onto our console. Uh, there's some details we need to finish up there. I know we have the console lid to build. We have the cup holder piece to do, so a few things there. Man, outside of that, we're running right along. So I feel like we have a lot more to do, but it's because we had a mild little break getting the shop built out 90%. So I was kind of away from it for a little bit, but now that we're getting back in, I think we're a lot closer than what I expected. So... Um, yeah, that's the game plan. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get some things cleaned up. We made quite a mess today. And then, uh, yeah, back into super fast YouTube mode. And we're going to go ahead and get the top all situated. So here we go.
med med påtaglig närvaro. Dansa gruv, gruv, gruv. All right, so I think we're in real time here. Yep, okay, cool. So we got the centerpiece all built. I know you watched some of that in the time lapse there. It was a little... Yeah, again, you guys got most of it there. And sorry if there's a little lapse, my GoPro battery just died. I'll tell you what's awesome. When your GoPro battery dies and it comes back, you, you put another battery in it, you turn it on. I love the notification that tells you your GoPro unexpectedly turned off. I'm like, I know, I heard you, dude. So. Anyway, my GoPro rant. So anyway, we got the center section all built in. Um, it's coming together real nice. We're happy with it. So we have another grill that's going in here, similar to this one here. Actually, we can show you guys that one real quick. Let's see. We're just getting it painted now, but so basically that's our other grill. Uh, that one's going to sit up in that top section, just to kind of match what we had going on. So, take you back here. So, we also got, I don't know if you saw some of this. I, well, you did, I filmed it. But So, I got some profiles done around this stuff here. Uh, this just needed to happen before we moved on. So, what we did, we actually stopped the profile right here where our piece comes in. So, that way we don't have to do any, like, any matching there or anything like that with, the, uh, with Bondo or anything. So, the less we have to use the Bondo, the better. So... And this is going to sit up just slightly again. There's a quarter inch piece that sits underneath it. So probably sit up just slightly like that. So it should look really good. I just create a little dimension there on what is basically a, I have no space, space to work. So and then we have to make sure we keep it a little shallow. Just we didn't want our console lid to come into it. So outside of that, um, that's what we wanted built. So I think we're going to go over some stuff now. And before I catch myself, um, yeah, we're looking real good. So this is all going to come out at this point. Uh, we'll go ahead and check all the lines while we have it in there. Once we have that grill painted, we'll put it in and we'll go over everything. At that point, we'll check all of our edges. If all of our edges look good, then we're going to go ahead and uh, bring this into the upholstery room and get some wrap done on this. So once we get this wrapped, we have seats go in and magically it'll be done. So you guys stay with us. We're going to keep on grinding. All right. Spent some time cleaning up and uh, just kind of going over things. And this is what we've come to. So I know he said we were getting back into the grind, but we're actually gonna go full reverse here. Um, we dropped our grill in, so now we can see what everything looks like. We're real happy with all the lines, all the profiles, everything looks good. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and flip it and pull it all out. So we'll get it pulled out, get it put in the upholstery shop and uh, start getting some materials on this stuff.
So coming out of that time lapse, uh, we got panels wrapped and we got them installed. So let's show you what we got. Trying to sneak in as best we can here. So here's what we got. We got panels on this side. We got our centerpiece there. Came out real, real cool. So super happy with this one. Again, everything's just very streamlined in this one. So again, there's not like, I mean, we didn't have, we had almost no real estate to work with back there. So we made some stuff happen. Let's see if you guys can get some better shots from this side here. So, because once the seats go in, you're not gonna see much. So. I love the grills though, man, that, that laser. I mean, that cutting those grills like that, that's a game changer, dude. So, but we can see where it seams up on the console now. But I think we did good just matching the shape on this side, even though the woofer is round. I think matching the shape, you get a good idea of the symmetry of it. And I, that was the whole goal. So, but all said and done, we're gonna wrap this one up. So uh, that's gonna do it for our enclosure and all of our trim panels. Uh, I know the center console kind of came through some of that, but the way they come together, we just had to. So, um, but yeah, we're gonna wrap this video up and uh, like I say on all of them, man, make sure you guys are following us. Like and subscribe to the channel. That way you get all the video notifications when we post up. And uh, yeah, come along for the ride, man. We're having a lot of fun doing these and we appreciate all the feedback and the, uh, and the subscriptions. So you guys just stay with us. Keep checking out the cars and until the next one, we'll see you then.